So Sarah, do you want to start it? <laughs> yeah, one second. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I just need a little bit more. <laughs> this is rough. That if we're ever recording and I look like shit, you're gonna tell me that. <laughs> Did you get that on record? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say your last name. Camille Perriot. 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 Okay. All right. Maybe we should start over again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Hey everyone, I am Sarah Lyon and I am sitting with Camille Perriot. Hey everybody. We are bringing you guys the bikini show. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be a platform where we can share um, opinions, um, feedback, um, what's going on in the, the, the division, the sport, bring on amazing athletes on the for interviews. Yep. Let you get to know them a little bit more, get to know us, get to know our opinions on the ins and out of the bikini division. Yeah. So we'll keep that part short and sweet and you guys can tune in every week to see us breaking down different topics, having different guests on and just rolling with what the 2020 year has for the bikini division. So we just recorded a full 45 minute real and we lost it all so here is Whoa. take number two i don't know it i don't know it. <laughs> you're like whoa whoa, whoa. It or <laughs> we love all you bikini arnold international girls and we wanted to break down all of you but we also thought that no one really wants to listen to our voices for a full hour. It was it was 45 minutes and we weren't even done with the list. So we're going to shorten that, do the cliff notes. We're going to do like some highlights yep. and yep. predictions and talk about some of the, some of the girls we athletes think we're that we're going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So starting off the list, we're going just in the, in, in the order Arnold's order. Yep. Um, Daraja. Daraja is the 2019 North American champion overall bikini. New pro, winner. rookie girl. Brand new. And she's on a vengeance. Um, she's <laughs> going to be the wild card. She I think is. she's a wild card. She's definitely going to be the wild card after winning her pro debut, then beating Ashley Kaltwasser at a Michigan uh, pro show. We know that we're, we should be expecting big things from her in 2020. On a, you know, more critiquing note, I would like to see, you know, just a little bit less hamstring tie-in, maybe a little bit more glute. So it'll be interesting to see what she did with the off-season, and we can see if she slides into that top five, top six. Yeah, she's very muscular, so she's, you know, and, and this is also her first... Big, big, big show. So, right. so that how do you so handle the pressure? It can there. So there are a lot of variables there, yeah, and absolutely. but I think she's going to be the wild card this year. Yeah. Um, moving into Ashley, three time Miss Bikini Olympia. Yep. No stranger to pressure to the big stages, anything like that. She's a pretty that. obvious one that's going to be. Yeah, we know she's in there be in that top circle. It'll just be interesting to see. You know, did she adjust her posing a little bit? Did did she make a little a few more tweaks to her physique? You know, and how does Adam, her her coach, end up bringing her in? Is it more on the condition side, or does he play it down? Yeah, for and a it seems like side? they've they've been they played with it. They've been they've been really trying to figure out what her mm -hmm. formula is. And but to be honest with you, I don't think it's so much her conditioning or lack thereof or anything like that I really think it has to do with the posing yeah I just I do and that confidence and I love Ashley and and I love watching her on stage but I just would love to see more more confidence more this is my stage more I'm the three-time Miss Bikini Olympia claim her, her claim it back right right exactly. I agree Janet Leug the most beautiful of them all. Yeah, all she's them. gorgeous. Everyone's gorgeous, but she's just absolutely stunning and, and you know, again, no stranger to the winning circle. Yeah. Uh, plays second place at this year's Olympia. Yep. You know, she's right there. She's, um, the, she's definitely going to be, it's going to be, she's easily going to be the top three. Yeah, and reigning and defending champion, so we know that, of course, she's she's going to come gunning for it. She, yeah. I'm sure she wants oh, that Oh, she wants back. that. She yeah. wants it. Yeah, so, you know, and, and as we talked about in our 45-minute preview, 
<laughs> I would love to see her with some more hamstrings. So I'm super excited to see, um, you know, what her and Kim have done in this off season. Yeah. See if she made some adjustments just so that there's more connection into the glutes. It's a little bit more balance. Yes. Definitely. I agree. Definitely. Um, Justine Monroe. So she's a she's OG coming back and yeah. she's a really exciting one to see on the list. Yeah. I think with Justine, you know, she, when she was competing in, um, several years or a few years ago yeah but a couple seems, years ago it seems so much longer it does it's been it a while so much um, but she was she was definitely a more muscular bikini mm -hmm. competitor and during that time it, they weren't as muscular definitely. and it, i think that kind of hurt her a little bit then yeah. even though she was you know many looked up to her and her physique right it's gonna be interesting to see how justine plays out now with mm -hmm. the current division how must how there's more, more conditioning a little bit more muscle on the girls and see and how she, she does right and what has she done with his time off you know yeah has she lost some of the muscle has she just grown in certain areas is she more muscular it'll be super interesting again she's one of the ones that on her instagram page you see more i think personal life um, which is great, but, you know, we don't have that inside scoop. We don't have those sneak um, peeks. Right. Yeah. Right. Especially she's up in Canada, so we don't have close I, I like that, though. <laughs> I, I like it when there's not a whole lot of, there's like that, like. Yeah, like secretive. Yeah. Like, what, what should we actually expect? That It makes it exciting. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Otherwise, you kind of feel like you're already seeing what's going to be panning out. <laughs> um, Issa. The champ. The champ. Um, you know, Issa's gorgeous. She has a freakish physique she has those dimensions that only she can have yeah. um that yeah. tiny little waist mm -hmm. nice shoulders yeah. that that x frame yeah um, you know, she kicked off 2019 um taking second to janet at the 2019 arnold and then she went from there to the clash championship series which is um a great show yeah in uh, south carolina and with that one she won it and she won it hands down. It was actually her and Marcia, who's another athlete on this list, mm -hmm. battling it out. And from there, it was just kind of like we knew that she was definitely going to be on the high rise that year. And oh, yeah. sure enough, you know, taking that 2020 or I'm sorry, 2019 Olympia title. Well, and huge. she just each year she competed in the Olympia. Mm -hmm. She was just improving, improving, improving her placements yep. and really growing quite a bit when her feedback was to put on you know a little bit more muscle she really did yeah I feel um, like it was always an upper body thing which yeah makes sense you know she's a, a brazilian native right so, you know I, i'm not to balance it out right and, and she did that and you can you definitely saw that especially at the olympia um we'll see if she can uh because we have you know we'll see if mm -hmm. she can keep that title mm -hmm. at the arnold's there's some uh, there's some girls that are just well, neck and neck with her coming for that we've seen it before Issa won the 2019 Olympia. Now she's coming back for the 2020 Arnold. Um, you know, we saw in 2016, Courtney King won the Bikini Olympia title. She came to 2017 Arnold Classic, and she fell down to, I want to say it was fourth place. You know, yeah. it, how do you take that off season, which is a short off season. If you right. actually look at the difference between finishing the Olympia, reverse dieting out, because we all know it's that a three, it's, you're, it's, a, it's a three, it's a three month you reverse, off season before you start another 12 prep, week prep. Right. And then you go into this prep. So, you know, it's, it, it can be hard on the body yeah. depending on, of course, your, your coach and all those other variables that play into it that we know. So I'm excited to see what she brings and I'm excited to see too, if she wears the same suit color. Does she think that's good luck? You know, I mean, she looks beautiful in it. No knock on the suit color at all, but I'm just curious, you know, sometimes people change it up. Sometimes they come back with the same one. My opinion, if she won, keep it. Why would you change a thing? Keep it. You don't change no. anything. Waste. Um, Jen Ronzini. Jen Ronzini is, you know, very consistent. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. She's. I think making a lot of great changes with her yeah. with pro physiques. She was so going back to let's see, 2018. She won the Arizona Pro, mm -hmm. um, and then she went into the Olympia. Off the top of my head, I, I couldn't tell you where. I think that was where she ended up third. I think she placed sixth place in the two. Are we talking 2018? 2018? I think yeah. she was sixth place at the okay. 2000. She just missed that top five. Yeah. The year before that, she was second place. Last year, she was seventh. Mm -hmm. So she was at that top, and she's you know slowly declined away from that you know that high ranking. Right, right. But she's still consistently either in the top five or top ten yep. at those big big shows, yep. um, which is great. Yeah. Um, and, and I think her um, again, her she was with Kim Odo. 
great bikini coach, then went over to Damien. I think what Damien did with her just really flattered her physique more. It worked a little bit better for her. She brought a great package to Chicago, played around with it going to the Arizona Pro last year. Then, like you said, that's when she then went in to take seventh at the O. Yeah. Um, you know, d- does her face still bring come back up in this top five you know does she slide back into that and then she easily she easily easily can yeah absolutely um faster at all so next up we have itila um itila is another brazilian Mm -hmm. um bombshell she had last year was like her i think it was like her first year competing as a pro Mm -hmm. she started off a little rocky in 2019 and then just Came up and like Guns boom blazing. and yeah finished eighth place at Olympia, mm-hmm. um, but she's gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of her physique. Unique look to her face as well. She's beautiful. Her yeah, hair, she has that everything. curly hair. She's yeah. very exotic looking, Stands gorgeous. Um, but she has a very balanced. She has a you know more muscular physique. But mm-hmm. I I I'm a big fan of her her structure. So I th- I'll be interested. She can, I I can easily see her squeaking into top five. Yeah, um, there's definitely gonna be girls upset. Sure. Well, only, there's there's there's, such there's, a great there's, y- there's it's a great lineup, and there's only so many that can actually right. get that. And they're so there. I mean, it's like right. It's really gonna come. That's down just to what the littlest things. Yeah. And, you know, you just you gotta make sure everything's a hundred percent. Yeah, you do. Um, lastly, Angelica Texera. Not least. <laughs> <laughs> um, Angelica is, you know, two-time yep. bikini champion, yep. uh, two-time Arnold champion, yep. and you know, this past year she just got knocked off the the podium yep. by Issa. But Angelica is hungry for this. Yes, and she I wants can. this badly. Yes, she looks great. She's already way ahead of her prep than yes. she, what she was, you know, for leading into Olympia. She wants this bad. She's not messing around. So I wouldn't be surprised no. and put it past her if she claims it back. Yeah, especially too. Uh, and if you haven't already seen, you know, you got to go check out um, my sit down interview with Angelica at the Santa Cruz Power Fitness Seminar. Um, we had a great conversation about, you know, obviously how the Olympia went for her last year, all those emotions. And like you said, yeah. she's got to be hungry. She's really hungry. Oh, yeah. And I w- would never put past someone who was once at the top, their comeback, you know, it usually is a little bit um, feistier. <laughs> she's she's hungry for it. But, you know, that's what I think for, you know, it, it takes, de- it, sometimes it takes defeats yeah. to, um, to like get that hunger back yeah. and fuel the fire. Yeah, that's what, that, that's what the sport's all about. Yeah. You need, you need that goal. And it's not, you know, I think what really hurt Angelica at the Olympia was just her, it, it's always her tightness and her, her ham glute tie in area. Mm-hmm. It, that's what it always comes down to. I've seen her live plenty of times and, um, you know, watching a show live and seeing pictures is completely different. Um, Angelica looks phenomenal, but that is the one area that you can see a little movement. So I think if she just comes in just a couple, one to two pounds tops tighter in that lower body area, um, I don't, I have no problem saying that I could see her and Issa being that one and two here at the Arnold. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, so who do you think is going to be in the... Top five, top three. Okay. All right. Let's break it down. So I'm going to go with my top five, and I'm not going to put them in order because it's bikini. Yeah. (laughs) We never know. We never know what suit color they like that day, hair color, whatever. (laughs) So I'm going to go with my top five is going to end up being Angelica, um, Ashley, Janet, Issa. And I think that fifth place spot is going to be a massive wild card. And I'm going to go with... uh, I think uh, Daraja is going to slide in there, possibly. Okay. I think. But, you know, I have to say, Camille, you're, you're so humble. <laughs> and I have to say <laughs> that I honestly, seeing you just in person, and I haven't seen you, like, in a suit or posing or anything, but just where you are right now, and you always walk around in good shape, but I think that you're going to be in that first call out too. And you could be that fifth place spot as well. And I'm not just saying that because well, I'm sitting you. next to her. <laughs> I truly believe I, that. That's, that's sweet. But being, <laughs> doing this, like, yeah, not I'm being me. non-biased <laughs> and I, I, I'm going to actually put myself out of there. <laughs> um, I, I, I agree with your lineup. And I think the wild card is, I think that top five, that fifth place is going to go to Justine or yeah. uh, Attila. I think I, they could really okay. squeak. 
Okay. But we both have we have the three. But Diraj, so Diraj is one of those girls that I can see either winning it, really? being a total wild card, winning it, or being smoked because it's almost too much. So she that's why we'll, we'll it's going to be exciting. I know and there's girls that we didn't even talk about. Well, we talked about. We had to narrow it down. We had to narrow it down. We had to narrow it down for you guys. And you know, all of these ladies though we're we're so excited to see what they bring in. Shoot, there might be names that we didn't even bring up today in this that slide in there. So we'll obviously have to check <laughs> back after the Arnold, see what's going on. <laughs> Do y'all think that top to bottom, all divisions, that this is going to be one of the most competitive Arnolds in recent history? Because if you look at all the divisions, yes. men's bodybuilding is nuts. Yeah. But men's physique, you've got... Well, this is the first, ha- first year they've had actual invites for the men's physique. Right, which is... Thank you. Whoever made that right? happen, thank you. Right. I, it was just a little, it was a little crazy. It was a little, a little much when you got 40 men's physique guys coming and they didn't even get to do their individual routine. And now I'm not saying that you can't judge a whole show based on comparisons. Obviously you do it at all the regional shows that we do at the Arnold, but I think for such a big show and such a big title, for yeah. it being such a big deal, you got to give those guys that individual part because it, it matters. I always felt bad for them when they were never a part of the meet and greet and then they, <laughs> It, it, it was like they were. It was. It was bizarre. So it, it was really exciting to see them yeah. recognize with all yeah. the, like all the other athletes are yeah. and having it more special than just this huge mass that mm-hmm. it's like an afterthought. Right. So I think you know going through all the lists, not just bikini, but like you said, classic men's bodybuilding, men's physique, women's physique, figure. You're looking at super competitive and big names. Oh yeah. Whether they've competed you know, recently or not, they're all names that a lot of people know. I think the crowd is going to be awesome. I think the energy is going to be great. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I know these seven weeks are going to fly by, though, so I won't wish it to go faster. I know. <laughs> so it is going to fly by. Now, now it's a time, time warp. Uh-huh. It really is. So. It really is. So, guys. That's our predictions, that's and that's our, our breakdown. Um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Of the bikini show. show. (laughs) (laughs) And we promise our next episodes, um, we won't be out the night before. (laughs) So you guys might like us a little bit more. (laughs) Until next time, Sarah Lyon. Camille Perriott. See you guys later. Keep it classy, San Diego. I hope you know I need videos now of you guys out so I can.